Oh, hey guys, welcome to my house. This is a surprise. Why don't you guys come on in and let's check out the pantry and fridge and see what we've got on stock for keto. All right guys, keep this in mind that we do get a ton of stuff for free. This is a part of our job. So we have a lot, but it's not necessary and we probably would not buy all of these things. So let's start with our pantry. I use a shoe holder for all our snacks. So this is where we keep a lot of our bars. Some highlights, some regulars that we eat are definitely these epic bars. So there's two really good ones, the venison one and then sriracha chicken. We love adapt bar. These are just 100 calorie little bars. And then I like to have some 92% chocolate on hand. I can't handle the baker's chocolate. It's too intense. So this is a good nightcap for me or great for traveling as well. And then I guess the last thing is Nut butter packets. These are super convenient, a great source of fat. Matt loves these. He eats one like almost every day. So again, guys, we do like tons of testing recipes. So that is why we have like 25 different types of powders. You don't need all the powders. You don't need any powders. Food should not be a powder. But like, I guess some of the powders we use and like maybe top of the list if you want to get some. Protein powder, good flavors like Quest, it's really tasty. MCT oil powder, it's also really tasty. And it's just like fun for baking or like if you're traveling, this is pretty good to add to coffee on the road. Luxury items though. And then most of this stuff in here is just stuff for recipes like baking. So like we got coconut flour, we have peanut flour, we got almond flour. This is just like an experimental basket. Maca, cacao butter. We essentially own every single low carb ingredient. Uh, cacao nibs, but this is not stuff you really Really need guys yeah we got a bunch of sweeteners powdered sweeteners mostly erythritol monk fruit swerve so one thing we got recently is this water filter it's Berkey brand this is probably the best brand water filter you can get if you don't want to actually get like a reverse osmosis thing installed at your sink you can look into this type of stuff if you want but essentially they like add a bunch of stuff to the water I think purifying it is a good thing it's not mandatory by any means we got the fluoride filters on there. So next up, we have the snack drawer. It's pretty useless at this point because all our main snacks we go to is what I showed you earlier in the pantry. So we got a bunch of beef jerky. We got a ton of crisps, different types of cheese crisps. There's three right there and we have a bunch of those. A bunch of random stuff. We got some Primal Kitchen bars. Um, this actually, Moon Cheese is one of my favorite types of cheeses to travel with and take on the road. And then we have this cabinet. So all of this stuff right here, some of this stuff and some of that up there, we designate for mail time segments. So like this is all stuff we haven't tested yet. So we're gonna be doing that really soon. We've got some nut butters right here. So this is Julius's. We should probably switch that out. He just doesn't like the good peanut butter. Yeah. He doesn't like natural. A bunch of random stuff. So like other stuff we got for mail time segment. This area right here is Sardineville. So Matt likes all his sardines and anchovies we keep here. I get tuna packets. I'll eat those sometimes. My avocado oil mayo. And then in this corner, we have some chocolate selections. Chocolate City. Yeah. So we got a Lily's bar. We got Lily's chips. We got Baker's chocolate, of course, Matt's favorite. And then this is also one that Matt enjoys, the Midnight Coconut. Up there is usually all of our pork rinds. That's Pork Rind Mountain. Yeah. They've been like a savior on my pregnancy. Just one cookie and I'm good. So here's what we got going on in the fridge. Typically I'll have some sauerkraut for sure. I got a couple varieties going right now. We'll have a lot of eggs. Mega usually has one that's hard boiled, just like quick to go. She has always something gross meal prepped in the top right. That's so what is that? chicken chili. It's chicken delicious. Chili. And then this is like Mega's vegetable alley right here. She's got like hummus, guacamole, guacamole tomatoes, some berries back there. Stuff always gets hidden in the back of the fridge too. So like those olives are from like a month ago probably, but they're still back there. <laughs> We usually will have homemade bone broth. That's what this is. And then this is Julius's raw pet food. We got this gallon of raw milk there. Some kind of like kombucha sparkling drink type stuff we'll usually have. Bunch of butters and sausages and stuff in here. We got butter, Kerrygold. We got farm butter. 
And then we got Cheeseville. And meats. And sometimes meats, yeah. So we got like deli meats. We got prosciutto usually, and we'll have a bunch of raw milk cheeses. So right now we got like maybe five or six different kinds. Those are nice to have. Oh, and then this is Mega's other vegetable alley. Just like some lettuce. Carrots, cucumbers. And then the sides of the doors, I don't really mess with any of this stuff. This is all Mega. We got like some probiotics, some yeast. I've never really made a good recipe with yeast, but we have it anyway. Bunch of like Primal Kitchen dressings, condiments, you know, nonsense. We got some tallow that I rendered, just like beef fat. Mega has her sourdough bread she's been having during pregnancy. Then over here, cod liver oil, we got butter oil. Walden Farm syrup. This. Pollen, I was gonna, just cause my allergies, I've heard that local pollen can help with it a little bit. I did it for like a couple weeks, didn't really know as much, I discontinued it. There is some carbs in this, I'm not sure how much though. And then this, right here. <laughs> This is just for sometimes pictures when we're lazy, we use this. It's cheating. But you know, taking food photography, most people cheat. They use like glue and stuff probably. Then we've got our inside freezer, which is probably not our primary one. So Matt has his frozen fruit in here. He loves the frozen fruit. Lamb that's left over and cooked. A bunch of all of our butcher box meat is always in this freezer. Salmon, we've got some chicken thighs, some ground beef. This is Julius's raw goat cheese he loves. We have a ton of real good pizza stuff, but like we have no room, so we just have to stack it. We don't really eat them, but we have a bunch of ice creams that were sent to us. These guys we reviewed recently, really good. We do like Rebel. And then we got these two for test of ice cream testing video that we have yet to finish. And then these are also just like mail time segment crust, uh, pizza crust that we really like. And guys, don't be intimidated. This is four years of essentially being professional keto people. So we have more stuff than you should have. But we have garage freezer. Garage freezer, highly recommend. I think this thing costs like a hundred bucks. Was it a hundred bucks or so? Yeah, we got it at like a used appliance. It's place. pretty cheap. And you can hold a lot more meat and stuff in here. So we got real good stuff. Breakfast sandwiches are the bomb. We got some short ribs. I'll just do like a few highlights in here. I always have some beef liver in the freezer for sure. And then we'll also always have like chicken legs or chicken wings because we like doing those on the weekends just for like a fun movie snack. We got a bunch of steaks. I try getting my the steaks in bulk just so it's cheaper. Like these are $9 a pound and they're grass fed, grass finished local farm. So I do get those in bulk. We got a lot of ground beef. We get marrow bones from Whole Foods, but the thing is they've been including less and less marrow in the marrow bones. These are just all kneecaps and stuff now. They're not even marrow bones. We haven't been buying them as much. But bone broth and... But yeah, we make bone broth out of these. We got some lamb shanks. We do get some like organ meats and stuff. Like these are turkey hearts. We were thinking we would feed them to Miley or we could also include these in bone broth and stuff. The thing is it's hard to get to the bottom of this. So you gotta be kind of cautious about what you're burying. Cause I have like this salmon row in here somewhere that I've been wanting to get out for so long, but I just can't get to it. It's at the bottom. We also got our seasoning carousel. Just like a bunch of stuff we've accumulated over time. And then over here we have just like a bunch of fats and stuff and like vinegars, coconut aminos. We use that instead of soy sauce. We have like apple cider vinegar for salad dressings, coconut oil. I use ghee a lot, sesame oil, you know, just stuff like we, Use this for Asian dishes, olive oil, probably have avocado oil somewhere. Honestly, we don't use avocado oil that much. MCT oil, and then we got some collagens and stuff up here. I'll occasionally put those in my coffee. Oh, and then we got duck fat and tallow. This is what we cook with. I like cooking with animal fats just so that it has a higher smoke point and there's less polyunsaturated fat, so you don't really have to worry about it oxidizing. So we mainly use animal fats and coconut oil for cooking. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy that tour. You don't have to go home, but you gotta get out of here. See you later.